Welcome to Friday, new at five. Today, Houston attorneys announcing plans to sue a university after a college football player's death. It is a story making national headlines after the coach resigned and the rest of the football season was canceled. Austin native Ronnie Caldwell was shot and killed earlier this month near the university. Troy Class spoke to his parents earlier today. Troy. Well, me and Len, like many kids, it was Ronald Caldwell Jr.'s dream to play in the NFL, but his parents say that the college and his football coach dropped the ball in taking care of their son. He's a wonderful kid. He, 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 he give you a shirt off his back. He's parents hurting. He was a great kid. And trying to figure out what happened to their Northwestern State football player. I really wanted him to move into the business world, and that's where his degree was. His degree was not uh, for athletics. His, his, his major was business. Like mother, like son. Same as mine, initial. But that dream cut short for this student from Austin, taken at 21 years old. This has been a, a Paris nightmare. Blanche and Ronald Caldwell say their son says it all started when a mold issue led to their son being moved to an apartment with a non-student, and then that roommate allegedly became trouble. I called the coach, I texted him and asked him, please move my son. Somebody pulled the gun on him. That was on October 9th. Three days passed before another call. The next phone call I get from this man is at 207, 207, Thursday, that my son is deceased. Now the family's attorneys are demanding accountability. They're planning to file a lawsuit. The university and Coach Brad Laird did nothing to protect Ronald Jr. As the school continues to grieve, the coach resigned, saying Ronald was like a son and the school's football season was canceled. The university issued a statement saying it would be inappropriate to comment while the cause of death is under investigation, but the school sends its condolences to the family. Meanwhile, these parents say their dreams for their child's future are shattered. And that's what our dream is when we send our kids to college, to send our child back better, than grow them bigger and better than what we sent to you. Not the way they sent my kid back home. And the family's attorney says that the roommate was arrested on firearm possession charges, but he says that no one has been charged directly with Ronald Jr.'s murder. We're reporting live tonight. Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News. So many questions in such a troubling ordeal. Troy, thank you.